What's up guys? Today, we're talking about... <laughs> concrete anchors. Really, there's four main anchors that you, you'll probably see regularly. One is the, the blue Tapcon screws. Another fairly common one you might see is this strike anchor or hammer anchor or impact anchor. I've heard it called many different things, but it's just something that you hit with a hammer. You have what's called a wedge anchor. And then probably the most common one, and there's a reason for that that we'll get into shortly, that is the sleeve anchor. And by far, my favorite anchor to use on just about any project. Now a reason some people like to use the screws and the strike anchors is because they're what's considered as removable. You can take them out, so if you need to move something, just unscrew it or, un or pull out the anchor and move your project to where it needs to be and start all over. But when you're talking about the wedge and the sleeve anchors, you're kind of stuck once you get started, which let me tell you can be a huge problem if you're not careful in where you're anchoring. Now the only thing other than being concrete anchors that these really have in common is that, well, you need a hammer drill to install any of them. But you already know that. But and you also probably already know that not all concrete, concrete is created equal. When we're talking about concrete in terms of labeling an anchor, it can mean anything from actual concrete to brick to brick mortar to center block. It's not all created the same and you're gonna need a different anchor for each one of those purposes because not all of them will work for all of those purposes. Obviously the first thing you need to consider is just the size and weight and where your project is gonna be mounted. And every single one of these anchors comes in different sizes and has different load capacities for them. You just have to pick the right one for your project. Now I'll go ahead and tell you that the reason why you see so many sleeve anchors used on so many different projects and you probably see these in every installation kit is because these are the only anchor of all of these concrete anchors that are universal, that can be used in any situation. Brick, mortar, center block, concrete, it does not matter. These will work in every situation. Wedge anchors are also very popular in, in bigger projects just because they're usually Wedge anchors are usually in bigger sizes and they just, they, they can hold a lot. Now the impact anchors that we talked about earlier, these are more towards lighter scale type projects. You know, if you're gonna be hanging some stuff on a wall, it's not too heavy. Now I've seen the impact anchors and also the Tapcon screws used in mounting railings to, you know, concrete steps. Uh, but it's usually on railings that we're pulling up and making repairs or just replacing all together. Now it's not to say that using these is bad on railings. I think maybe using these as uh, sort of wall anchors would be fine if you have everything nice and secure on the floor. That would be okay if it's an easy approach, but generally I use pretty much 100% sleeve anchors on everything. So I hope this quick rundown of concrete anchors helps you in deciding which one to use for your project. Uh, clearly, I am quite biased towards sleeve anchors, but really, I mean, it's just the best concrete anchor there is because you can literally use it on any concrete surface. No matter if it's a new construction or old construction, doesn't matter, it's just, you can't beat these things. Every time I use one of these things, I make a, a sound effect when I hit it, I always go pew pew, because it feels like I'm I'm the striker on a gun or something. I'm just pew, striking it. Maybe that's why I don't buy these anymore. 